Well, hello. Irene Smith here, and today we're back at the waterfront house, and we're about to do the kitchen. I purposely left this uh, cooker hood, stove hood, from before, but we're going to buy new kitchen furniture. And once we've picked what we want and 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 purchased it, I am going to change the design to what I want. It seems easier in in this version of the game to buy stuff and then set the settings than it is to play around with settings before you buy. So that's what we're our plan is for today. We're going to start with the corner and let's see. We've got Brooks, and I seem to use Brooks almost all the time. Well, maybe we'll try that one. Let's try that one. Love rocks. Okay, we've got in that, we've got a dishwasher, we've got an oven, and that's it. Oh, darn. I mean, not that there's anything wrong with those choices. Well, I kind of like that oven. Um, unfortunately, there don't seem to be any cabinets. So, um, let's... In fact, there's an oven and a dishwasher, and that's it. Let's go back a step. Go to cabinets. We've got Blaine. We've got Bran. Maybe I'll do them for a change. Do they have a corner cabinet? No, I don't think so. Well, let's let's see what they got. They have a hanging cabinet. They have a sink cabinet, and they have a cabinet. There's no corner cabinets. But on the other hand, in this particular kitchen, we don't necessarily need corner cabinets, because I'm not going to be doing... Brooks. Gotta use Brooks all the time, though. <coughs> um, I do use Brooks an awful lot, and excuse me for the sneeze. Pardon me. Crane. Are there crane cabinets? There's a dishwasher. There's a fridge. Yeah, they do have cabinets. Hmm. Let's look up crane. I've not used that one before, so. And actually, like I said, we don't necessarily need a corner cabinet because um, we don't. Because I said so. Oh, they have them, though. Look at that. So if I wanted them, I could have them. Let's do that. We'll start with this corner. It's a trick I learned from my friend Malsey. You do the corners first and then you fill in in between. Speaking of Malsey, um, we're going to be doing another little competition for St. Patty's Day. We haven't ironed out the details yet, but we are going to be creating some sort of pub or perhaps a restaurant or we're not quite sure yet. I think I know which one we're going to do, but I don't want to tip our hand too soon. 
So, but stay tuned for details on that. And let's see, what else do we need? We need a stove, crane, oven, crane, oven. Which one? I don't really, yeah, okay, I, I want this one. And we'll move that over so that it's above it. I think. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. Need a sink. I know there was one. Okay, there we go. Sink. We want that one or that one. I think I'll go with this one. And then we need a narrow cabinet. Shoot. <laughs> no, we can go wider than that. Wish these actually had width widths on them to tell you what size it is. Oh wait a minute. There's a no, not that dishwasher. Will it fit? No, of course not. Why would it? All right, maybe if I, let's do something different this time. You don't necessarily have to have corner cabinets in this kitchen. But what I do want to have is a dishwasher. Let's move that over. a refrigerator, a crane refrigerator, but I think it's going to be too wide. I don't know if it fits perfectly. wouldn't normally want to have a small refrigerator like that, but I think on this one I'm going to go with it. Okay, now that's no longer lined up down here. Okay. I was beginning to wonder. That's nice. I like that. Yeah. 
just a hair. Okay, now over here we want this one. And we need one more. Mm -hmm. Not a hanging cabinet, sorry. Um, 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 um this is the hardest part so far. Okay, there we go. There we go. I think I wanna well, we'll we'll take care of that. Oh, I need one of those half ones. Okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. I think it looks very good, actually. Let's try that again. Is there anything that we need to add to this room other than the little goodies that I do at the end? Yeah, probably all those little goodies. I'm not entirely sure I like this refrigerator, um, but for now, I'm going to leave it. So I think I want the door on the other side, though. I think that looks a little bit better. Um, where's the colors? I'm not sure I like these colors either. I want something with a little more color to it. Um, how about the light cedar? Or red cedar? Mm, not red. High gloss wood, Brazilian cherry. Oak, yellow wood. How about yellow wood? That's an interesting idea. And we'll go with yellow wood for the top. And guess what? For the front as well. I, I rather like that. Yes, yes. And for the handles, we'll go with... I'm going to go black for the handles. Okay, that's really nice. So now we will copy that and apply it to the rest of the appliances. Apply to the appliances. I think that looks real nice. Yep. Excellent. 
Okay. Okay, now I want to take just a little pause and, and think about what we're doing next. So we're back. And I did not show you, I don't remember if I showed you, maybe way back when I first did the first walkthrough, the <clears throat> area here under the house. Because it's not, <clears throat> I'm sorry, a little horse. <laughs> anyway, um, this workroom here, and actually I think, I think right now, I think I'm going to leave it as it is pretty much. It's a nice room. Put that back on that. And yeah, no, it's, it's useful, I believe. So from there, we can go back up and inside. There's already a barbecue grill here, which I think we might move out onto one of the uh, porches. I don't know what that is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know what those plants are. This is the kitchen that where we left off when I said, oh, I got to think about this. Um, this is a, I don't know what it is really. I suppose it would make a really good office. I think that's what I want to do with it. Yes. Why doesn't that door close? What's stopping it? Is it broken? There's nothing in the way that I can see. Or is there? Is there something in the way? Now it works. Okay. I can live with that, I guess. Oh, I see what it is. It's the door on that that was keeping it from opening and closing. You notice the uh, shadow problem is happening again, where something that's casting a shadow gets moved, but the shadow stays. The shadow knows. <laughs> Not a smart thing to do. Okay, so out here we have a deck. And this is, yes, this is the one that I put the nice swing on. But it would be nice to have, like, a picnic table out here, perhaps. Well, we'll, we'll leave that for, a, for, for later. For now, I just want to finish the downstairs. And I think this room is pretty much done. Let's see if there's a light switch somewhere here. Maybe they put the light switch on the outside. Actually, in a way, that makes sense. But can you imagine if you had little kids and you're in the bathroom doing what you do in the bathroom and all of a sudden the lights go off? Because Johnny thought it would be really funny if he turned the lights off. Yeah. Now, is that dirty or is that? Oh, yes, it is dirty. I am so close to that last, I think, the last perk on this. Oh, boy. I didn't remember noticing it was that dirty. Wow, that's pretty bad. Almost looks like it's been sitting around molding for a while. Ah, oh, I got it. Perks. I don't know what it's going to do for me, but we shall see. So now I just have to do it one more time. 
I don't even care about the flashlight. I don't use it that much. I'll get it eventually. So that is supposed to make things last longer. I don't get why they have to disappear as soon as you start cleaning. I don't think that was a terribly good choice. And while you could say, oh, what do you know? You're not a game developer. Well, no, that's true. I'm not a game developer. Well, mm, I'm not now a game developer. Um, and I've never developed games of this complexity. But I actually did publish some games years and years and years ago. Um, back when I was first getting started as a writer and a programmer and a... Uh, web designer and all those goody things right around the turn of the century. Well, actually before that. The year that I was married, um, I had some games published by a company called Source, Soft Source, which eventually sold, was eventually sold to, um, I forget what, what the intermediate one was, but it ended up at the very end belonging to Mattel. So I received royalty payments from Mattel for my games. And we actually made enough in royalties to live off the games for a while. Um, they were on the market for really a rather unusually long time. And I received I was still receiving royalties when I went out to work for Microsoft in uh, 1999. So that's me in games. I actually have a picture of my games that I could show you. They were released originally on three and a half inch diskette, which shows how long ago it was, and then re released on CDs. And at something like seven cents a piece, we were still making an, enough money on them to live and pay our bills. I love this scenery. So we have to pick what room we're going to do next. We kind of did the kitchen. We've done, I think, all of the bedrooms. This has got to be, I think, I think this would make a good office, a good home office. Don't you? Let's get a desk. Go back to the store, go to furniture, uh, tables, and desks. We want something nice. That one's not bad. These aren't bad. I don't know. I want something a little different. I'm getting... I've, I've gotten fixated on this one corner desk, and it seems like I use it every time. <clears throat> so let's, let's pick something different. That's kind of nice. Why don't we do that one? Then we can put some books in the end. And what do we want for finish. Actually, I'm thinking of going with, I used to use cedar all the time. And let's make the top, let's make it green, 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 green. A nice green. You know, like a blotter. That might be too bright a green. Yeah, I think I'll leave it that way. Now we need a chair to go with it. 
We need chairs. Seats. Office chairs. And I do believe... I, no, I don't want to use that one again. Let's use this one. We'll use this one and we'll leave the base alone. For the seat, though, I want to go with that kind of nice green. Was it this one? Looks more blue. But I think we'll go with that one. And details. I don't want pink. Let's make the details. Let's go with like a dark gray. Yeah, that's nice. And we'll give them a nice desk lamp. No, lights, silly. Lights, table lamps. Um, well, that's a desk lamp. It says table lamp, but let's do that one. I like that one. And for the color, I'll leave the base alone. For the shade, I want to go with the green. It's actually more blue, but I like the way it looks here. So that's fine. And we don't even have to connect it to a light switch since I can. Okay, now we can. What do you think? Computer desk? I mean, lamp, laptop? That's electronic. Uh, we want computers. Let's go the whole, the whole nine yards. You know, I really miss um, the light up keyboard and the light up headphones and the light up mouse. There is no no. And if I turn it on, all it does is bring up the store, which is cute the first time, but kind of dumb actually after that. Anyhow. I know that things will shake out and 
improve. But right now, I'm a little bit frustrated. It seems like there's a lot of things that I'd like to have, that I would expect to have in a game of this kind that just don't exist. Kind of spooky. Lover in the river. Or love in the river. Lover in the river. Mm. Anyway, okay, so I think that how that room is pretty much done. Uh I think the, actually the one thing it should have nah, I, I don't think so. Um I was gonna add a a, a chair. But I don't think I will. I think I'm going to leave it at this. And call it done. This room is done. I think it's clean. Hmm? The windows are dirty. funny that you can't spray the windows. I mean, I guess you can, but I don't know that it does anything. I think it would be more satisfying if I could. Anyway. No, that's good. That's done. Um, I'm not even going to change that pattern. This room is basically done. That room is basically done. Wow, are you gonna? Are you telling me that we're? I don't think we need that anymore. I think we're done painting. So get rid of that. Get rid of that. This room is finished. Wow, we might be done with the house. What do you think? Uh, this room is pretty much done. There's only one thing I want to do still. This bathroom is definitely finished. There's one thing I want to do, and I've got to look, at, look up how to go about doing it. Once we've done that, I think we're actually done with this house and we could move on. You know what they say. Oh, no, what do they say? <clears throat> I don't know what they say. You tell me what they say. Make a comment below and tell me what you think I was headed for. Because I, I don't know myself. Um, let's see, this is hallway, that's the closet, that's the dressing room, this room is done, oh, I added a couple, I added a toy kitchen, and I added a dollhouse to this room, oh, and a plane, and a couple of plants to this room, but I think it's pretty much done, this is clearly done. By the way, I didn't say anything about it at the time, but this is from uh, my wedding all those years ago. I'm going to try, um, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm going to try converting that to a higher quality JPEG and see if that helps because it seems blurry. Anyway, I kind of like the way this room came out. Because I like the, I didn't think I was going to like the fish on the wall, but I do. And I like the green background and the blue-green background, and, and I like the blue-green walls. So, yeah, this is pretty good. Okay, so we did, we checked that bedroom is done, this bedroom is done. This is the one that has the dressing room in it. And it also has its own bathroom which is over here. We have um, an overhead light. 
But, oh, those are the lamps. But there's also... Oh, I think that's the bathroom light. Yeah. We also have an overhead light here. So I think this room is done. So that's one bedroom done. This bedroom is done. This room is done. The bathroom is done. Okay, let's go downstairs and check through one more time. I didn't get rid of the slippers because I figured, what the heck. Um, not overly fond of that table, though. I want to pick them up. Put those down here. I want to see what table that is. Console table. Whoa, that's a good name for it. Somastinkuka. I think. Okay, so console table. Because I tried changing the finish. That's the one. I rather like the table itself, though. And I think for the base, I'm going to choose. I think I'm going to go with the light cedar. For the top, we'll go with a dark. No, we won't. We'll. I'm going to go with a. Sort of like dark brown, but. Um, let's go for that, I guess. We dropped on the floor. What is that? Oh, a piece of garbage that I wasn't aware of. Okay. Um, Seriously, you don't leave them on the floor. Although I probably do. <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody. <clears throat> you know, I forgot to ask, how was your Valentine's Day? Did you have a good day? Did you get some cool gifts? Did you give some cool gifts? Oh, darn, that floor needs... That I got all those that needed it. Uh, 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 careful. Well, I thought I had done all of these spots that needed doing. Okay, we're almost done 
with this house. I can't believe it. Usually, lately, it's been taking much longer than that. Hmm. Either I'm getting faster or I'm not doing as much. I don't know. Which is it? What do you think? It's another thing you'll have to tell me in the comments. Comment. Tell me. Tell me. What do you think? Are we... Are we missing things? Skipping things? Oh, that's dirty. I think. Oh, yeah. Holy mackerel. I thought I cleaned everywhere. Okay, so that room is done. We have a nice office. Bathroom, main bathroom. We have a bedroom here with a closet. We have a place to sit and do stuff if you need to, including eat. We have the wheelchair. We have a laundry room that looks like it's pretty well done. I can't believe there's only going to be two episodes for this house. Wow. Okay, that's done. I know, I keep, I keep circling around because I keep thinking there must be something I missed. Um, and the laundry room. And the kitchen, which I kind of like. I uh, did get a refrigerator. It doesn't look like a refrigerator to me. It looks like another piece of furniture. But hey. Groceries. Or do. No, you know what? For right now, I'm just going to go through the house and make sure we've got everything. I purposely... I keep going into that room. I purposely did not do anything special with the... This is nice that this goes right out on the deck. I purposely didn't do anything with the workroom downstairs. It's just going to stay as a workroom. Um, groceries. Bottle of wine. No. No. Yes. Muffin cup. Uh, there we go. A couple of glasses. What better place to sit and look at the sunset, right? Okay, so ah, one thing I did want to do, I wanted to take this. Now you know what? I think I'm going to leave it here, but I think I'm going to give them a picnic table. cedar. Okay. Ah, 
gosh, I'm not used to being done this quickly. Let's see. Up here we've got a deck. An entrance to the dining room. That's the dining room. Where the heck is the kitchen? Oh, right over here. Okay, now that makes sense. That makes sense, right? I mean, okay, there's one more thing I want to do, but I might even have mentioned already I need to go and look up how to do it. And I will tell you what it is when we come. Well, believe it or not, after only two episodes, we are done with the waterfront house and we are going to sell it right now. I don't know what we're doing next. If you play the game and you have some suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you can suggest a property, I'll buy any one of them. I have enough in my wallet now to buy just about any property there is. And uh, I truly wish I could build something and in, in sandbox mode and then bring it over to the game and the game side and and the story mode side whatever you want to call it and sell it because that would be a lot of fun um it's one of the few things that i really feel like they dropped the ball on when they when they created house flipper 2 but okay so we're going to sell this place now because i really don't see anything else I want to do. I never did build a thing for the garbage cans, did I? I don't think we necessarily need to in this particular property. Except I do want them not to be like out in front of everything here. We're going to move this back over here by the bicycle stands. Oh, I was going to buy a bicycle. Let's see what we got. I did look at the bikes. Okay. Cheapers. There's only one bicycle? Wow. Oh, my. Uh, let's go for purple. My, I had a purple bike when I was a kid. Let's get a purple bicycle. Now, it's more pink than purple, but I don't care. I mean, a bike's a bike, right? Like a horse is a horse. Why can't I put it? What's the point of having a bike rack if you can't put the bike in it? Guys? Okay, so, well, I think it's time. I think it's time to sell it. Is there anything else we want to get rid of before we do? Not really. We did this house. It, it went surprisingly fast, all things considered. We've got a dining room here. We've got an inability to move. Had the keys wrong. Uh, I don't know what this room is supposed to be. Reading room? Anyway, we've got a sort of a libra uh, library, a living room. We've got a living room here. Actually, we have more than one living room because we've got that one, but we also have um, up here, we also have a living room. But that's okay. And this is the one with the TV. See, there you go. And it also has my wedding picture. So this is really, it's, it's sort of a, well, no, it's a living room. There's no office here. There is an off, there's a children's bedroom. It's a grown-up's bedroom with its own bathroom. There is a front room. And then if we go downstairs, if I can actually find the stairs we'll find that there is a living room here, a re 
reading room, I guess. Kitchen's here. Over here is another, is the home office. And a bathroom. This is the, no, that's the bedroom. No, oh, this is the laundry room. I know there's another sort of like a living room down here. Oh, well. Whatever. Oh, there it is. There we go. No, that's the office. I don't know. I lost it. Anyhow. So, I am going to um, sell this house. And then we will pick something new for next time. And I would love to hear, if you play this game and there is a property that you find interesting or that you particularly like or that just one that you would like to see done, um, let me know. Uh, I've done a few uh, jobs from the Sandbox as well where I've downloaded something from Mod.io. And, and done it, but I haven't done that for a video. So if there is something on Mod.io that is a job, it has cleaning, remodeling, whatever to do, um, drop a comment, tell me what it's called, and I will give it a try. I mean, what the heck? Hopefully, uh, there is a mod, not a mod, a an update on the way that is going to allow us to have curtains and blinds in our in the windows and fires in the fireplace. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. They're supposed to be. They said something also about a an April Fool's DLC, and that there's going to be a a DLC that allows co-op play and I think that once that happens Malzi and I are going to have to get together and co-op a, a, a flip. You hear me Malzi? It's a challenge. Okay let's uh, what do we got here? I never noticed that, it, that they charge you actually a hundred whatevers when you put up for auction, or is it, yeah, I think it's a hundred. Anyway, um, so we've got all together 214000 into this, and we are going to put it up for auction and see what we get. Okay, so... The highest bid is from Xavier Bailey, and he's offering us 355000 which means that we will make a profit of 141367 So I do believe that we are going to sell to Xavier Bailey. Yes, confirm. Okay. Um... That was a nice profit. Going back to our office. Ooh, I've got I'm almost up to three million. I was thinking that for the next property I might do it's one that my friend Malsey has already done. And I haven't actually even bought it yet. So why don't we buy it now? It's, there's only two that I haven't done. One is the Verdant Nook, and the other is the Desolate Villa. And the one that I am particularly thinking of doing is the Desolate Villa. And I just realized I didn't do the one thing I said I was going to do. So I'm not going to mention it right now. Once I, once I do figure out how to do it again, I will do it and tell you about it. But let's buy this. Let's see, it costs, wow, 382000 We are going to buy it. Yes, I do want to buy this house. And we are going to go there. 
Um, by the way, I bought the blue bungalow again because I wanted to mess around with it. And I may sh show that to you when I'm done. Okay, so this is the desolate villa. And I haven't done this one before. As you could see by the fact it was still for sale, I didn't have to go to the ones I'd already sold to find it. But one of the things that Malzi commented on when she started this job was the fact that it's really a mess. Really a mess. Um, there's a lot to clean up. There's a lot to pick up and throw away. And there is a lot of good work that needs to be done. This is a rather, it's funny, it's a large house, but from what she said, there were only two bedrooms. So we'll see. This this is going to take some time because I, I believe that what's going to end up happening is our first episode will be Irene cleans the house. And if you know me for real, you'll know just how much I love cleaning house. Okay, so let's call it a day for now. And we will be back on um, Thursday with the first episode for this desolate villa. Um, it's going to be an interesting thing because I want to try to be more original than I've been lately. I've just sort of, uh, I've redecorated, I've done a lot, but I haven't been adding all of the accessories and things that, that I really should be adding. So this is going to be a much more extensive uh, flip than the ones I've been doing lately, and we'll see what we can do with it. So don't forget, uh, remember, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please give this video a like. It will help more people see it. And share it with your friends. And the biggest one of all, the thing I want the most, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what you like. I want to hear what you don't like. I want to hear suggestions. I really do. I'm not here just doing this to, to have you watch me. I'm here doing this because I'd like to interact with you. So please, have a fantastic, sorry about that, have a fantastic rest of your week. As I was saying before I so rudely interrupted myself, have a fantastic rest of your week, and I will see you again on Thursday. Thank you so much for, for being with me, for spending time with me, watching my videos, and I look forward. I've actually got a couple of plans for some slightly different things coming up, but I'm not going to tell. See you soon.